For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are sons of God. We'll not be like the Israelites who were ruled by their emotions and their feelings and ruled by their fears. The Israelites who ran from the borders of Canaan and the giants, they ran from their destiny, they ran from their inheritance, they ran from the purpose of their birth. If we do not understand the value of following the Holy Ghost, we will run from our inheritance. We'll run from our destiny. We'll run from the purpose of our birth straight into the desert where we will die in lack and disappointment and discouragement. Hear me tonight, church. You cannot beat the world, the devil and the flesh in your own strength. We need the mighty Holy Ghost and he's here for all of us. He is here for all of us right now. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Our renewed minds are filled with the Word of God. Our hearts are led by the Spirit of God's love. Ephesians 2.10, For we are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Hallelujah. The good works God prepared for us is our destiny. The purpose God brought us here. The reason God put us on the earth. We cannot experience God's guidance. We cannot experience God's guidance without fellowship with God. Fellowship with God. What's that mean? Spend time in prayer. Spend time in the Word. Even if you start off just a few minutes every day, start doing it. Get fit at doing it. Like running a comrade's marathon race. You run a mile the first day, then more the next day. We cannot experience God's love without fellowship. Nor can we experience love in our marriage without fellowship. We can't hear God's voice without fellowship. We can't have God's joy without fellowship. We cannot walk in faith without fellowship, the word and prayer. We cannot enjoy the blessings of God's grace without fellowship. We can't walk in the anointing without fellowship. We can't even testify at the lost without fellowship. As important as fellowship is in our marriages, so equally is it important to have fellowship with the Father. Without fellowship with the Father, the things of the world will begin to look inviting again. Say that, without fellowship with the Father, the things of the world will begin looking inviting again. We cannot follow the cloud without fellowship. And the cloud is always moving. So if we don't fellowship, we are left behind. The less we fellowship, the more problems encroach upon us. That's why some are left behind. They are left in the wilderness with all their problems. Fellowship with the Father. Walk in the Spirit. Listen keenly to His continual guidance. Listen keenly to His continual guidance. The last scripture I want to leave, you, leave with you is 2 Corinthians 2.14 in RV. Thanks be to God who always leads us, always leads us in triumphal procession in Christ. He always say this, God will always lead me on a road of triumph. God will never lead you into problems, difficulties. God will never lead you into sickness. He'll lead you out of all these problems into victories. See that? Say this, the Father loves me. Thank you for watching Dr. Theo's YouTube channel. We will continue to offer encouraging and life-changing highlights from Dr. Theo's past, present, and future series and messages. Please take the time to like and share the videos. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.